everybody, Advancement64 here. Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, well, we got through this entire route here, as well as but, uh, beat those Team Aqua Grunt guys. But uh, also, we checked out Slayport and the battle tent that was there. And, but I suppose the only thing that we haven't done before we move on is just enter this little house right here. And as soon as we do, we're being watched. Uh, from where? Uh, maybe this little... Sparkle underneath the table. Let's check that out. Huh? Grr! How did you know I concealed myself beneath this desk? You're sharp. Behold! For I am the greatest living mystery of a man in all of Owen. They call me the Trick Master. Whoa! Glad to meet you. You, you've come to this to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter through the scroll here and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. And off he goes. Off to the back, I guess. And, yep. A little stranger door right here. It's like, I guess it's just that little scroll. Um, I guess it's supposed to be, like, one of those, like, Japanese, like, doors that are supposed to, like, slide open or something. Or is it literally just, like, a piece of paper that's in front of a door and you just, like, want to go in and it's just, like, boop go through and here we are in this little place as you can see they have there's a little tr there's a bunch of little trees around those are the little cut trees that we uh, can now cut down because we got HM cut way back in, in and that girl also said something about um, cut uh, her in her uh, in her dialogue and it was all in caps so obviously it's got to be the move so if you haven't put together this whole place is like um, a sort of like trial area uh, for using an HM, uh, the HM move cut, uh, and, well, we're gonna try to get, uh, get through here, and luckily we still have Ziggy that has cut, we don't want to teach, I don't really want to teach that to anyone else, because it's not a great move, because it's basically just slightly stronger tackle, and by, uh, slightly, I mean very slightly stronger than tackle, and it has a chance of missing as well, so there's not, it's not really great, uh, um, don't like that Batman's been uh, paralyzed here, and I do wish we got wing attack already so we can take care of this Oddish to like look at you split, but luckily We don't have to worry about him too much unless this absorb somehow gives him a uh, ton of health uh, And if not, hopefully this bite here will take out uh, and yes it did all right That's an XP for Batman and we beat uh, last Sally. Uh, why are you so serious? Uh, well, uh, I don't know how not to be serious. You were, you came at me with like your Pokemon out of nowhere. Like uh, I just wanted to go across and cut this tree here. And we go ahead and do that. Uh, and you're gonna have to do that a lot because look how many trees there are. This tree looks like it could be cut down with cut. Uh, you guys, you want to do it? Yes. Uh, and is there even anything over here? There is not. Uh, so, yep, the, this place is just uh, uh, by a trial area. It's also like a whole maze if you haven't put that together. It's kind of just everything is being blocked by these trees. You don't have to cut down every single one. Like, for example, that one, I'm pretty sure you could just like go around it. And, yep, uh, we just did. Um, there is a Pokeball up there. Let's see if we can go actually grab that real quick. Um, let's see. Is <laughs> This is the Trick Master's place. He's very much like uh, uh, this in a lot of areas, uh, but uh, luckily um, there's only another HM that's very much similar to Cut, uh, and oh, we got the Orange Mail. That is completely useless to us, but I think that's the first time we got Mail. Um, at some point I should show that off, because Mail isn't too important, but it's I guess it's a little neat thing. Plus, I can always probably just give it to someone on the PC or something. And, oh, no, we, now, we need to get this little thing in order to move on, but we gotta go fight this trainer. Just, who is the Trick Master? And I'm not sure he's the Trick Master. Last Robin, and she's got three Pokemon. Skitty, alright. Now, I'm a little worried here with uh, the Skitty, because not only am I paralyzed, uh, Batman is also a man, so... Um, Sk uh, Skitty has always got a uh, cute charm, and if it, so if it, even if it doesn't have a tracker, what... I'm always in danger of getting um, infatuated with this Skitty, and I don't want that to happen because um, I'm fighting a po uh, when fighting using a Pokemon that's infatuated stinks. And there we go. So now I have a 30% chance to not move because of paralysis, and a 50% not to move because I'm in love. Okay, so this is good. Let's see if Batman is actually going to bite this guy. 
And no. So, yeah, this did not go so well. Luckily, we got that supersonic off. I'm gonna switch out the jam, because really like um, not dealing with that right now. Uh, I don't know what nature power would be here. I think it's swift again, because the little like floor terrain around us and Skitty kind of just looks like a normal little thing. Um, oh, we can show off Fake Out uh, now. So if we use Fake Out, uh, it's going to always move first. It does, it, wow, that did actually a good amount of damage. I believe it's I think it's half the strongest quick attack, but I might be wrong there. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, the whole thing on that uh, is that uh, you know, whenever it moves, if you saw right there, the Pokemon that gets hit by Fake Out cannot move. It's going to be—it's going to flinch unless its ability won't let it flinch. Uh, flinch. That's like the only way you can get around it. But whenever a Pokemon would flinch, it never moves. So basically, you get a free attack off on a guy. So it's pretty neat. It's not a bad uh, move at all. It takes up an attack space for sure, but uh, it's guaranteed damage, so very nice. Um, Shroomish. Because we have Thief now, that's probably not that big of a deal. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, now, we already know that this is um, Swift. Let's go ahead and do Thief again. Um, that did not do as much damage as I like. Let's see how much Swift does. And, okay, Swift did do more damage. I always give uh, Swift not too much good to talk, because Swift isn't that great of a move, but um, the best thing about it is that it will always hit no matter what, because it doesn't check accuracy. It's all it's one of those moves that always hits uh, regardless, so, so it's a very nice move in that regards, but it's still just slightly better tackle, and so it's not going to be super effective against anything ever, but it's not a horrible move to rely on. It's just definitely not a move I would ever have anywhere close to the end of the game. And we almost got that barrel right there. Let's see if we can take it out with another bullet seed right here. It should be good. Um, yep, just shoot another bullet seed hit, and there goes that barrel. Uh, Jam is doing really nice. Uh, Jam might actually get another level than oh, over on Deku then. Um, but we beat this uh, person and we get this little thing and it's not an item But we found a scroll we memorized the secret code written on the scroll and maybe that's gonna come in a little bit in handy um, So if we remember there was a trainer over here. How about we switch up a little? Um, how about we put Rex in front because Rex is doing a little lower, but I think he should do good against this guy If I remember right, I think he has like a zigzagoon or something, but I'm just guessing based on what he is because he's like a youngster. I wandered into this weird house by accident. Uh, let's see what you got, a uh, youngster Eddie. And uh, spelled d uh, differently than any of the Eds from Ed Ed and Eddie. Uh, but all right, and let's go ahead and use Rock Tomb here. And I was right about how he had a Zigzagoon. I'm surprised I remember that. Maybe he has two Zigzagoons because he does have a better Zig. Uh, do does have a better Pokemon. I mean. Um, Rex is almost at level 17, I see that too, so I believe that after we beat this Zigzagoon, that's definitely going to be a thing that we uh, don't have to worry about too much. Maybe I should have went for Metal Claw just in case if we missed, but alright, that wasn't bad at all, and let's see, we, we got our level. We got to level 17, doing alright, and oh, we're starting to learn a move, Iron Defense. Um, do we have any bad moves that I would probably would never really use? No, I kind of like all our attacking moves right now. Um, the higher defense is like hard and it raises your defense, but the way it's a little different is that it boosts your uh, defense two stages. So it's like you use hard and twice in one move. So if you have a, a chance to get um, Iron Defense over, uh, like, Harden. Definitely go for it, because it's a much better move, and I was right. This guy did have two Zigzagoons. Maybe I should go for Metal Claw instead, um, just to try to get an attack boost, and, well, we flinch. Uh, yeah, I think that's a side of the universe to try to go for that, and we are losing a little bit of, um, attack, but we got a critical hit, so that didn't really matter. Alright, good job, Rex. Uh, and I believe that's all the trainers of this little area, and now I've lost it. Did everybody in here have $256? I've never really noticed that. Um, Alright, let's go through this tree. And over here we got a little door. Now, uh, we wrote down the secret code on that door. And Trick Master is fabulous. The lock clicked open. Now, if you didn't go get that scroll, you cannot make it through that little door. 
Now let's go see what this uh, trick master has for us. Ugh! You made it to me! Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night to plant those trees. You are almost my equal in greatness by one, two, three, four, five, six places. Fine, you have earned this prize. And we got the rare candy. That's awesome. I think that's the first rare candy we got. Um, rare candies, their whole thing is that whenever you use them on a Pokemon, they will immediately level up. It's really cool, regardless of how many experience points they had. Uh, scrub that smirk. A spot smirk off your face. It's too early to think you've won. I may move tricks to stop you. I w um, uh, I'll make new uh, tricks to stop you. I will. You may mock me only when you're done. Come back uh, for the next enticing installment. And I guess we can go ahead and leave. Uh, can we go ahead and leave through this area? Nope, it's impossible. I even tried checking it. You can't do that. But there's this little area right here. And it. I'm, I guess it's supposed to lead out of that little area through the back. If we go through here. There's a little exit right by this little carpet here. And we're right back in the original room of the trick house. So let's go ahead and leave. And, well, I'm gonna go heal up real quick, uh, but we're not done with this place. So there we go, we're back. Uh, now if we go enter the trick room one more time and, oh, looks like he's still working on something. For the next time, I'll use this trick and that scheme and those rules. <laughs> if I must say so, it's a brilliant difficult. It's brilliantly difficult, even for me. Huh? What? Oh, it's you. I'm in the midst of devising a new, tr a new tricky challenges. It's not too much to ask for. If it's not too much to ask for, uh, it's uh, time for me to I think. What? Okay, maybe I, I'm, I'm reading this entirely wrong. It's not too much uh, to ask, but for a bit more time for me to think, is it now? You would be uh, would begrudge me that. Uh, come back in a little while. And alright, uh, we'll go ahead and come back in a little while. Probably when we have our next gym badge, and that's exactly how that guy goes. The number of gym badges is the number of times that you can go through that uh, place and go check that. Um, and that dude will have new challenges. So keep the trick... Uh, man, uh, trick... Uh, master's house in mind because it's definitely a little, nice little place can we get this yes we can we got the dire hit uh, um that's another little battle item instead of boosting a, a stat though it's gonna boost crit what's this guy got uh, i found some cool pokemon in the grass around here all right uh, and he's got two pokemon is it just pokemon that's from here and no it's an aaron right uh first um it'd be cool if you found that in the grass here but i mean you find that in the cave and do for it so no way that dude got that around here, but that's a nice little Pokemon indeed. We're gonna just keep going for him, Zord. Now, Steel-type actually resists Grass-type, so... While Aeron is a Steel and Rock-type, uh, Absorb is going to just do, uh, normal damage instead of being super effective, because the resistance cancels out with super effectiveness. Um, but this next Absorb should be able to take that guy out, and we got a little bit of health back. Very, very nice. And we're gonna get in an Electric. That was what we, um, I believe... We saw one of these a little bit earlier, but you can indeed find one of these on the route. Uh, um, they're a very, very cool um, early game electric type. Um, only thing I would say that's really holding it back, at least at, at the beginning of this game, is that it doesn't have any electric moves to start out with. I believe it gets one at level 17, and it's much better after that point. Um, if you do want to pick one up and you um, are having trouble using it, uh, this next upcoming gym will actually give it a move that makes it a lot better. So if you uh, are struggling using an electric but you'd still really like to use one, keep that in mind. I'll hopefully bring it up again once we get that uh, move. But let's see, do we have anything to heal paralysis? We do. We have a whole paralyzed heal. And we got Deku all healed up. Um, I don't know if there's anything too important here. Um, Trainer tips, uh, the items in the bag can be reorganizing by pressing select. I forgot about that. Uh, I guess I, I forget what, how it sorts them. Oh, another electric. Let's see if I can... I'm gonna see if I can get some health back by just using Absorb on this guy. I was considering just using, like, a potion or something, but yeah. Alright, uh, really perfect. We kinda just got our health back exactly from that. And Deku's level 20. What more can I ask for? Well... The only f one thing I can think about asking for is not getting into another electric, but winning this upcoming battle right up here. If any of you have ever played Pokemon Emerald, you know exactly what's about to happen. Um, but uh, for 
for those of you who don't, it's May. Uh, hi, Peter. Long time no see. While I was searching for other Pokemon, my Pokemon grew stronger. Very much stronger. So, how about a little battle? There is no getting out of this one. This is probably the hardest uh, battle in the entire game right here, at least uh, early game-wise. This is May, uh, the second fight with May. Um, at least the second fight that is unskippable. Now, May has three Pokemon, and they're all really, really bad. Um, I forgot that this uh, was a Wingo at the beginning. I'm going to start with going Quick Attacks, because I want to keep moving first as much as possible. And, oh my god! Okay, this, wing, uh, this Wingle does have Wing Attack, and that probably would have one-shot me. Thank God it's being stupid. Okay, and we did not take it out. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Alright, okay, wow. Okay, we did, uh, that wasn't so bad. I'm gonna just keep going for Quick Attack here. I am really worried. Um, that's because Wingle is not the reason why this fight is scary. Um, this is the reason why it's scary. Uh, May will have the second evolution of the, of the starter that you are weak to. And every single one of the starters in this game are crazy broken. And you don't want to fight them. Now, uh, I understand that Rex is really terrible and if he gets hit by one fighting type move, it's done for. But I'm hoping that a mud slap can, uh, if he can get one off, I would really like it. And it did not work. It did not work out in our favor. Okay. This is it terrible but this is bad um okay so we don't we have jam deku with batman right now um i'm gonna go with jam because jam has fake out so we are uh, so we are gonna get um i just did not use fake out <sighs> i'm a fool i just used another move that it was like what i'm going to resist it there's no point of that uh, oh my god i'm, I'm a ah uh, Okay, let's see if we can do it nature power. I believe this will actually stun it. Yeah, that is exactly what we will need. We, oh, it's just swift. Okay. At least uh, we're getting some damage off. Uh, I probably should have healed a retrospect. But, alright. Um, I'm going to go with Falco here for a bit. Because Falco doesn't uh, have too many times to really help out here. So I would really like him to do... Uh, God, all these moves do too much damage. Okay. I should have just went for quick attack in retrospect. Um, yeah, I gotta go for supersonic here. And kind of hope it, it uh, hits it. And please, please, come on, man. Just once. Yes! Okay. Um, we are burnt. Um, so now, he's literally my only other Pokemon. Um, I definitely should have healed up uh, more with my other Pokemon as well, so I'm definitely going to heal him right now. I don't like that he's burnt either. Um, I'm probably just going to try to use Confusion to try to proxy through this. Do I have anything to heal burn? I might have a berry if I ever... Nope. we got to use a full heal that we got um, from that battle tent. So, good, uh, good thing that came in handy. Um, and now we're going to uh, hope that... Yes! Combuskin hit itself in confusion again. We're doing really, really, really good with this. Um, so it resists bite, but maybe it does not resist steel wing. Um, hopefully it does not. And oh my god, it hit itself in confusion again. Oh my god, if it does not resist steel wing, it's possibly going down. If I don't miss, I miss. Okay, okay, this is okay. It snapped out of confusion, but we're doing all right because it's only got a little bit of health, and we just gotta not get hit by a critical hit right there. Okay, that is not good. Alright, but Deku can move first because of Quick Attack, so I don't think we have to entirely worry about that right now, but we do have to worry about Quick Attack not taking it down, and okay, critical hit! Thank you! Haha! <laughs> okay, so main po a threat down, but we still got one Pokemon to deal with, and we only got one Pokemon, and okay, it's Lombre. Um, so... I don't know how much damage this guy can do to me, but Fury Cutter I know is going to do a lot of damage to it. Uh, uh, as long as I can keep doing Fury Cutter, I should do really good. And Astonish. Okay, that's not any bad damage at all. Um, let's see how much I can do. Um, ooh, Swift might hurt. Okay, I'm a little worried about this. Um, okay, that wasn't bad. I'm going to go for another Fury Cutter. And yes! Okay, we got the Lombre down as well. And I think that's another le level on Deku, but I don't really care. I'm just happy we beat May. 
Oh my god. We got level 21. We're doing amazing. We beat Trainer May. Yikes, you're better than I expected. And yes, I really am better because of confusion. That's like the only reason I won here. Peter, you've been busy training too, haven't you? I think you deserve a reward. This is uh, from me. And we got the item finder. With the item finder, we can look around for uh, hidden items in the grass that don't normally appear. It's pretty cool. Let's try it out. If there's an item that's uh, visible in the midst of sound. It'll... Okay, Peter, let's meet again. I know it's a little silly coming from me, but I think I... you should train a lot harder for the next time. Ugh. You know, you're probably right. And, oh my god, we got a thing from Ziggy as well. Uh, just another little potion. Okay. You're definitely telling me to heal up, and we're definitely gonna do that before we move on here, because this route can be unforgiving at this point. But, that's enough for this episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. We got through that uh, crazy intense fight, and I'm so happy we did, uh, even if we barely hung on with just Deku at the end. But, we're gonna keep- like she said, we're gonna get a, a even stronger, and we're gonna keep moving on through this route and make our way to the next city in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later.